So we're going to work on mobile homes here. We've got some budgeted data, and we've got some actual data, and we have three jobs. And the jobs have very different amounts of material and labor, and they have machine hours that they've used in, in square feet that they've used up, but they don't have any overhead assigned to them yet, so we will have to do that. So the first thing they want us to do is compute the total cost of each job using a predetermined overhead rate. So they tell us that for variable overhead to use machine hours as the driver and for fixed use square feet as the driver. So we'll have a rate for variable and a rate for fixed. And so we need to apply fixed and variable overhead to these three jobs. So let's start by calculating the predetermined overhead rate for variable and for fixed. So I've made a space here for us to get the rate. The numerator is budgeted overhead. The denominator would be the activity. So for variable, our budgeted overhead is the 71. And our expected activity is the 17,000. So our rate would be 420. For every time there's a machine hour, I'm going to apply 420 of variable overhead to that job. All right, let's do it for the fixed overhead. So the fixed overhead is 64,000, and we're going to divide that by square feet. Now that we have the rates, we can apply overhead to our three jobs. So let's start with job 101. Variable overhead is based on machine hours. So our rate was 420, and the number of machine hours that that job consumed was 3,400. So they're going to get assigned that much variable overhead. So now let's do the next job. Same thing. The rate times the machine hours. Same thing here. They're going to get assigned 420 for every machine hour they used. So very different amounts of overhead posted to these jobs. Let's do the fixed overhead now, and it's based on the square feet. All right, they're going to get charged $8 per foot that they used. All right, each of these jobs now has been assigned overhead, and we can now get the total cost. Remember, the total cost is not just overhead. It's the materials plus labor plus the two overhead assigned. So that is requirement one. Here's the total cost of each job with the overhead assigned using our predetermined overhead rate. Now let's compute the over and under. We can't compute the over and under by job because total overhead incurred is not at the job level. These are shared expenses across all the jobs. So let's figure out how much total overhead will be applied, not just to these three jobs, but to all the other jobs. So here I have our T account set up and applied overhead. We would apply 420 times every single machine hour used, not just the machine hours on these uh, jobs, but all the machine hours. And then we would apply eight dollars for all the square foot that was uh, square feet that were used. So that would be our total applied. Those two added up, and then the actual variable was the sixty-eight eight, and the actual fixed was the sixty-three five. So now we can figure out if we have applied more than actual or less than actual. Let's do the math. So we underapplied by 1,100.